every Kenyan has a right to vote whoever he feels like. There's nobody who can control you that vote for this person or not. The president has come out and he has said that there's no plans of killing anybody. Those who are saying that he wants to kill them, those are lies. And guys, uh, when we sit down and start uh, following the genesis of all this, we can clearly say that the Kenya concert team started creating tension on their side without considering what is going to happen in the future. Because when they started campaigning, they used to say that President Uhur Kenyatta has got only one fourth and he'll never do anything in the mountain. Now that the president is out and telling people the throat about William Samuel Ruto, nobody will like the throat. The president said that tell Kenyans what you're going to do, stop lying. When you tell people the president did this and you are going to overdone it and you are the debut president, then it means those are lies. Tell the people the truth and they will vote for you. When the president started talking about William Samuel Ruto, the debut president feared that the president might uh, make him not to be the next president of Kenya. Now the best thing they have to do is to create propaganda that may cause panic in the country, that may cause people fear President Hur Kenyatta and fought against his choice of the president. Just in case you're here for the first time and you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly take a second or to subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video on this channel, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for the returning subscribers, thank you very much for always supporting this channel. So, here we are talking about President Uhuru Kenyatta and the, the relationship with uh, William Samuel Ruto. Now, uh, in the previous video I did and I said, when William Samuel Ruto was claiming that President Uhuru Kenyatta leave my family alone, I, I came here and I said that uh, when you look at uh, William Samuel Ruto's family, there's nobody who is deep uh, supporting him. He has people from the mountain who he claims to be his family members, and those are the likes of Ndindi Nyoro, Moses Kulia, Rigati Gashawa, uh, Kiture Kindiki, and so many people who are supporting him from the mountain. Those are the people at, right now claiming that President Uru Kenyatta has a plan of killing them. Yesterday, uh, during the Kenya Kwanza campaign in Nyeri, uh, Rigati Gashawa cried out loud and said that the president has a plan of killing him. And if he wants to kill him, let the president kill him this week so that Kenyans can know he killed Rigati Gashawa, a secret that he killed Jais Kamodo. That is what the debut, the running mate of Kenya Kwanza, uh, Rigati Gashawa said yesterday. Now, the president today has come out and he has answered them, thanked them that I have no plans of killing anybody. Just in case you have not watched the video, I'm going to leave that video at the end of this video. You watch it. President Uhuru Kenyatta putting it clear that when they used to abuse him three years ago, he was quiet. He has been working. They have been abusing him. Why right now they are jumping out saying that the president wants to kill them while they had a plan before they have been abusing the president while working. He has been quiet. In this case, uh, yesterday I was saying with my friend that even the president is a human being. He has the feeling when you abuse him, he also has a right to come and tell Kenyans that and these people, they are accusing me falsely. The right thing is here and this is what Kenyans should know about President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy president. Now the president is out telling Kenyans the truth about William Samuel Ruto, it's now sounding weird to Kenya Kwanza leaders because at this time, if the president is going to talk uh, about William Samuel Ruto, then Kenyans are going to change. And that's what is making them not feel happy. And I say that 
uh, president is going to tour all the counties in Kenya and by touring those counties he's going to thank Kenyans for working with him in the last 10 years. Now the person is going to hand over power to is the one person has been talking about and that is Raila Morodinga. Now when mentioning Raila Morodinga again, that's a problem to William Samuel Ruto and the team behind him. The projects the president is launching is another problem to Kenya Kwanza because once he's launching a project, he is including Raila Morodinga because that's the only person he trusts is going to complete those projects. And when we come to Mount Kenya, uh, Mount Kenya right now is saying that all their eyes, they're looking to towards Mother Karwa. That's the person they have hope in, not regarding a shower. That one alone is not sounding good to Kenya Kwanza. That's why, again, they are accusing the president. They are crying. Today, Raila Morodinga is, was in Nandi and Eridolet. The reception was fantastic. Raila Morodinga is the only person who can campaign all the counties in Kenya without facing any rejection. There's some counties that William Samuel Ruto can't campaign and all Kenyans are witnessing the counties like Kisumu, Siaya, those counties. is campaigning with fear. He's not confident when they are to sit down and start campaigning. Why? Kenyans knows him, they know the president, and they know who is Raila Morodinga. It's like the handshake contributed and enable all the politicians to move to any county they feel like to campaign. But William has fear in campaigning to certain counties. That's why he's boycotting some counties in this country. Now, the heat between President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy president is out clear. All Kenyans are seeing and they know what's happening right now. And the remaining days is going to cost Kenya Kwanza partly because of President Uhuru Kenyatta. That's why they are attacking him so that they can prevent him from talking Raila Morodinga, from talking against William Samoruto. But the president again has a stand of campaigning for Raila Morodinga and Martha Karua because he has one foot. And of course that one foot, he has to use it to make sure that he has created more than one for Raila Morodinga and Martha Karua. That is the fact of Kenya Kwanza being bitter to President Uru Kenyatta. And the likes of Moses Kuria, you can see right now the way they are reacting. Moses Kuria has sounded like uh, he has a feeling that they have not taken power for William Samuel Ruto. They have to calm down. They have to stop attacking him. They have to work hard to campaign for William Samuel Ruto so that he can win. If they start attacking against each other in Mount Kenya, then it means they are creating room for uh, Uhuru Kenyatta to come in and win for Raila Morodinga. Just have a look through this video where the president talked about William Samuel Ruto today. And As you all know, in a week's time, we will be exercising our constitutional right to choose a new administration. I want to urge all of us to maintain peace during the remaining campaign period and on and after the date of the election. Kuna haja ya matusi jameni. Kila mutu, including myself, ako na uhuru wa kupigia debe yoyote ambaye anataka. Kwa hivyo, Eh unapigia huyu, mwingine anampigia huyu, mwingine anapigia huyu. Waamuzi utakuwa wa wananchi. Kuna haja ya matusi. Kuna haja ya kuingilia watu. Na nikikujibu kwa sababu umesema mambo ya uongo, kuna haja ya kuambia watu nataka kukuua. Si mume mume mumenitusi miaka karibu miaka tatu. Kuna mtu amewaguza. Hiyo miaka mitatu zinimekuwa kwa kiti. Sindikuwa na uwezo. Sasa wakati naenda kupatiana serikali na sina uwezo ndiyo nikona na, na, na time ya kukutafuta. 
Piga story yako, uza sera zako, wachana na mimi. Mimi nafanya kazi yangu, ni malize. Nyinyi muende muombe kura. Wanainchi wakiwapatia sawa, wakiwanyima. Tuende nyumbani pamoja. Shida iko wapi? <laughs> si dunia itaendelea.